Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to, I have this unboxing to do for some Happy Meal Christmas swap that I did with Karen, conf under confetti underscore paper. Um, I am really excited. Cannot wait to see what she sent. She's an amazing crafter. I'll leave all of her details down below. I will read my card off camera. I'm just going to try to go through this as quickly as I am able to before my baby wakes up. So she sent me a cute little stocking that's really cute. I love that. And it actually goes with the theme of the colors that we did do Christmas for. So that is, thank you so much for that, Karen. I'll put that up for Christmas next year. And already we can see so much pretty. I love this, um, I can't remember what they call it, maybe angel hair? I'm not sure what they call that kind of trim, but she sent this really big box. And I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out. And then we can go through everything. Oh my gosh, look at that. So let's take it all out. And then we'll go through the packages. All of this pretty red shred that of course I will be keeping. And I got some sneaks, I think, on her channel. On her um, Instagram, because she doesn't seem to have a YouTube channel. Oh, that is so cute. That is too cute. The little McDonald's boxes. I saw the Happy Meal boxes and I was like, they are so cute. Um, she's stuffed this box right up. So I'm going to just take it all out and then we'll go through the things. Hopefully I'm able to go through most of these things. Before my little one wakes up, I see so many goodies, so many goodies in here. So maybe we should go through, I think I want to save the Happy Meal box for the last. Oh. And I'm going to take out, she sent quite a few embellishments. Some pretty trim. Alright, let's take it all out and then we'll go through it. So much pretty things in here. Okay. Mostly everything. Okay, and let's see. What should we start off with? So let's start off with these embellishments here, and I'm just going to push these to the side. So here, and I see she sent me some of those tickets as well. Super, super cute. Let's, let's open it so we can take a look at these pretties. And I love the way she embellishes. She adds a lot of dimension to everything. Like look at all of the lace, the beads. Look, so pretty. Wow, super, super cute. Very cute. I love all of the details. Definitely um, a lot of inspiration here to use a lot of these, you know, things I have like trims, I have like seat beads and all sorts of things but to just use them in my crafting super pretty i love those thank you so much for those karen i'll definitely be using those like on albums and stuff like that and she's used a collection of snow and cocoa which i love and fa la 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 and I, i'm not sure what that is from maybe it's from that as well so i'm gonna put those back in there little baggy wait maybe not and then, of course, I can save this bag topper as well. That is cute. And then next here, we have a um, another embellishment that she's made using one of those frames. Yeah, using one of those, um, what do you call those? Well, I don't think this is supposed to come off. I think this, this, oh, this probably came off of something. Maybe it was on here. I'm thinking because it has glue. Maybe it was on this. You'll have to tell me, Karen. Like such a cute embellishment here and just once again look at the details like look so cute very very pretty i love the way she's used that so creative right and she's added like a twine to this chipboard piece and we'll go through this package and look very very cute i love how she's on this banner with that little thing and i i do feel that it probably came off of there so let's see what she sent in here those are cute so she sent me some goodies, and I do not have, I don't have any of these, so thank you so, so much. I have like the Valentine's ones that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby before, 
and I've um and I like them a lot. I think they're really cute on projects. So thank you so much for that. I don't have that. And then these little stockings are super cute, great for altering. Excuse my nails, guys. I haven't really been able to <laughs> I usually do my own nails and this one broke and I need to it's just an ugly nail right now. I need to put a tip on it so that it's the same length as the rest. But it's hard with a newborn. Thank you so much for sharing those goodies with me, Karen. And I will definitely be keeping this packaging to be reusing that. The pieces on top. And then next, we have some of the tickets. Some more of the tickets that she sent. And I love her use of die cuts, textures. The washi tape is cute too. left the um the bag top was pretty simple so that way if i wanted to embellish further i could and then here she's got these really pretty bag toppers again let's um let's hold on the l is trying to get lost there but i can always fix this okay daddy um how cute and I don't have, I only really have uh, digitals of these collections. I don't have, so it's really nice to see like the chipboard and like the actual stickers and stuff is really nice. And I love how she uses the die cuts and incorporates everything. Really pretty. I love these. Thank you so much for those. And then let's go into this. So here she has sent me, and then on this one, I think she put the little clip so I can just take that off. And let's take a look at how cute is. How cute is she? I'm going to call her she. I really need to try and do shakers more often. So pretty. And then in here, it looks like she sent me like a little kit for me to make something on my own. And it looks like they're for like little bags. Like, um, yeah, I'm going to assume. Yes, I think it's like a little bag that I can make with it you'll have to confirm but I'm pretty sure that's what that's for and it's really cute I saw her make some cute little bags on her um, on her Instagram and I'm pretty sure that that is what that is like a little paper bag and look at all of the die cutting that she's done like and in one of my favorites snow and cocoa so that's exciting and I do have the digital for those and I have like one chipboard have one chipboard of that that I won um, in a giveaway, so that was exciting. That's the only one, and I don't know if I'll ever use it. Or if I do, I guess I'll have to use it for like a mini album that I make, I guess, for myself. That way, I still have it. And then, ooh, these are cute. I saw these on her, um, on her, and I love when packaging is repurposed. I saw these on her Instagram. These are so cute, these little like coin. I don't know what you call them, but these dangles are really pretty. So cute. I love that little charm there. Very, very pretty. And look at how these the puppy stickers. That is such a cute idea. I love these. Thank you so much for these, Karen. Those are super cute. And she sent me some like, snow. snow. Okay, these are my pastelli. Those are kind of more traditional. Well, not really. It makes. Oh, and look at how she used like that cheesecloth in the back there. That is such a cute idea. Love, love, love. Super cute charm, I love that one. These are really pretty, these will be awesome like on a mini album. And look at how she's used that same trim that she used on the bag topper around that. I just love how she just uses so many different elements to like decorate. Those are so pretty. Thank you for those. I love those. Then she made some blank tickets, and I do not have this die, so thank you so much. And she's made quite a few of them, so that will be fun to play with. And in here, let's see what's in this little bag. This looks really cool. Oh, how pretty. Look at these bows that she's made. With little beads and, um, and like a wire. Those are super cute and such a great idea. 
really good idea for using a lot of those smaller beads. I love this idea, Karen. I am going to try to scrap lift this, and I do have bendable wire now if I can just figure out how to do it. <laughs> Maybe you can record a tutorial for us. These are super cute. Thank you so much, and you've blessed me with so many. I love the pinks, I love the green, and I love the um, the yellow, like the green and the yellow. I think would be so pretty with garden party. Even the pinks too. Super, super cute and such a creative idea and I love the little bag and she gave me so many of those as well those would be cute for embellishing or just adding on projects as well and then we have this cute little bag there's that trim again the little banner piece such a cute little <laughs> bag and then let's see what she's put in here oh so cute love that it's so cute and pretty she sent the little like matchbooks okay so let's open these up so we have to see all of the cuteness and she's put like fabric on these y'all i think this fell from here i can always glue that back she used an acetate piece and put fabric underneath and look at the little jingle jangle there and when you open it up oh she gifted some of those beautiful flowers that she's made made out of like this really pretty vellum that is so cute i have to glue this one back on but no worries i got a glue gun i have adhesive thank you so much karen like honestly the details on all of these things is amazing i cannot wait to maybe we'll see if maybe i craft christmas in july um yeah we'll see we'll see how often i'm able to craft with my with my newborn and my baby girl that I have already. So pretty. Like I said, I've never seen some of these pieces in real life because I don't have them. And these are like little crystals. So more little flowers in there, but just look at all of the details and how she uses all of these different textures. It's pretty amazing, actually. I love that. I am. Um, I definitely want to challenge myself this year too. Like using all of the things that we buy as factors that we feel that we need to have. And then we don't use them. I want to try to like when I take stuff out to take everything that I think can go with it, like create a kit almost. I hope I've been in frame because I've been so busy just looking at everything. I love the colors of this. So cute. Um, she's got some more of those beautiful flowers in there. And once again, she's added like fabric on these. I just love, like, I love her style. The first time I saw her crafting style was she had entered a, um, a challenge giveaway that Janae, Happy Mail Obsessed, had hosted. And when I saw her entry, I was like, oh my gosh, what pretty crafting is that? Like, the textures is just amazing. And I follow her, and I'm always so inspired by everything that she creates. It's simply beautiful. And like I said, I just love, like, the use of so many different textures. I love the little jingle jangles. Such a cute die cut. I love how she used those flowers there. And some more of those gorgeous flowers. These are so cute. And I love the idea of packaging the little flowers. I made some of these and I packaged like some little embellishments. The pretty fabric. So cute. And that's what we had pretty much agreed on, like, um, doing mostly embellishments. Do you like some embellishments? So we'll put this over here. And she sent me this beautiful trim, which I don't have, which is from Hobby Lobby. And look at how beautiful she decorated. I need to find a way to save this. I'm going to try to cut it off so I can paste this on something. So pretty, right? And then this trim is really pretty. And I don't have that, so that is super nice. And then next, we have this is an embellishment box. Oh, she included these really pretty seed beads in there. Beautiful colors. I don't think I have anything like that. I love those. And this cute little box here with um let's see what's in here look at how she's decorated the top 
I've got so much dimension, so many uses of different elements, cute little buttons. So, so pretty. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, and here she has included oh, so cute, like die cuts and these beautiful banners. I love the, the banners. Like, look, look at how she uses the wire and put the beads in there. That's just so cool. I'm going to be trying to scrap lift some of these things, just letting you know. So pretty. And the pretty little um, green clips. So here she sent, like, some like different um like little pegs uh, what do you call those things close pins i think this might have fallen off of that one really cute and then i can alter them if i like or just use them as is and here she sent some die cuts and i love this die cut and i love that paper never seen anything like that and the cute little deers <coughs> excuse me guys so cute and some more little die cuts how fun and exciting i love and this will be perfect with snow and cocoa that is gorgeous thank you so much for that once again just look uh oh i almost cut off the um there's foot I don't mean to be rushing guys, but I'm gonna try and film this before my baby wakes up. So cute. Okay. Then we have hold on. Let's see what else we have here. And then we have the MM box. m and box um, that she's made for me. Super, super cute. And look at this. I don't know if she's glued to this paper herself. Maybe. How pretty is that? And you have to let me know if this is a die or... Oh, yes. Okay, so the little bags that she sent, which I think that's what she die cut for me. These little baggies. So cute. I saw these on her Instagram and I was admiring them. And she sent this beautiful sequence mix in there. And look at how cute the little tissue paper for the bag. That is so cute. Super pretty. And then here, take them all out. This other beautiful one. Once again, look at the use of texture. So very pretty. And I think she's included another sequence mix in there. Oh no, some little um, foam. Uh, what do you call these things? Snowflakes. I loved these when I saw these on her um, on her channel. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is so cute. Love that. And then she sent me some of those clear and nice because I do not have any of these. Little clear snowflakes. And I love how each bag has like the little um, tissue paper in there. And then she sent some more of those. Look at the little french fry box. So cute. Like this is the best Happy Meal ever, okay? I wish I could pull up to McDonald's and order these crafty Happy Meals. Like how cute. And those are little snowflakes that she sent. Super, super, super cute. And you'll have to let me know, is this a die or like a cut file? Like I love the little McDonald's box very cute and I love the little um the little bags and like that's what she sent me the die cuts <clears throat> so I can try making my own and I do have some bendable wire this is absolutely stunning Karen thank you so 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 much I appreciate you thank you for swapping with me and I cannot wait until we get to do future swaps thank you bye <laughs>